Hey everybody, welcome back to another brand new release video and it's case day. 2020 Top Series 1 is finally out after much anticipation. You can see I have a hobby box right here that we're going to be opening up for this preview video to give you an idea of what you can expect from this brand new release. Now, this is a hobby box, so there's one autograph or one relic in this box. You can see it's advertised right there. And these boxes are going for around $75 or so. I checked out Steel City Collectibles and that's what they're listed for on that website. Easily you might pay a little more if you go to your LCS, but it's always good to support your LCF if you get the shot to do so. Also, there's a celebration of decades golden ticket program that they're doing where you can win um, a golden ticket for some kind of really cool experience that I don't know too much about it, but uh, it would be pretty cool to find one of those. So 2020 tops, we're going to take a look at the design and the cards and look for some of the good rookie cards and see what we pull out of this. And this video is sponsored by JH of Jay's Openings on YouTube. So check out Jay's Openings on YouTube. I'll throw a link down in the description. JH is a longtime friend of the channel. So let's see what we can find for Jay in this box. Pete Alonso on the front from the New York Mets, your rookie home run king. Most ever home runs by a rookie. Also your NL rookie of the year. So here's what it looks like inside. You can see there is a silver pack. They changed up the program starting with Topps Update last year, they put the silver packs inside the boxes to make sure that you get your silver packs. Because a lot of the times the dealers would take them and set them aside, maybe keep them from for themselves or whatever. So we'll open up that one towards the end of the video. Let's get right to it. This is what the packs look like. You can see there's 14 cards per pack, just like last year. There's the design there, Pete Alonso on the front. Really kind of like the look of these packs. And all of you guys, well, maybe not all of you, but a lot of you like to check out the odds. So if you'd like to pause it to read through those, or if you'd like to check out the no purchase necessary postcard offer at the bottom, there you go. But without further ado, let's open up the pack and see what we've got. All right, so on the back, it looks like we don't get a picture on the back of this year, at least on that Chase Anderson, kind of a plain back with the stats, which is cool. You can see there's a borderless card there. This is what the base card looks like. The names are going, um, I don't know, kind of perpendicular from the bottom. Not sure how much I like that. Kind of harder to, to read the names. My eyes just kind of trained to read them along the bottom of the card. But Jason Kipnis, I think there's some interest with the Chicago Cubs with him possibly. And Bo Bichette, rookie card. We have our first rookie card of 2020. And Bo Bichette is one of five good rookies in this set. Um, off the top of my head, we got Bo Bichette right here. We've also got Dustin May and Gavin Lux and Aristides Aquino. And there's one more that I'm missing. Of course, the big one, number one, Jordan Alvarez. How could I leave him for last? Save the best for last, I guess. There's Pete Alonso, league leaders card. Uh, Merrill Kelly, Ken Giles, Eduardo Rodriguez, Ryan Presley, Trent Grissom. And then we have an insert card there. It is a die cut card. The 90s, pitching wins above replacement. Roger Clemens, who received about 60% of the Hall of Fame vote. He's got two years left, left of eligibility. There's Javi Baez. And here's the back of the cards. You can see what they look like. We might as well show those to you right now. There's 350 cards in the set. You can see uh, there's 300. This is card number 300 of the set. Um, pretty standard back right there. A little bit, I don't know, kind of bland gray backs, but it's, it's okay, I guess. Not the greatest back design. You'll have to let me know in the comments what... Hey, there's Dustin May, one of the nice rookies that I was just talking about. Check out the hair. Have to let me know in the comments what you think about this release. Do you like... There's a Nico Horner rookie card. He might see some action at third base for the Cubs if Chris Bryant does indeed end up getting traded. But let me know what you think about the design. What would you give it? A, B, C, D, or F? There's Glaber Torres, one of my favorites. Garrett Cole in his Houston Astros uniform. Of course, he's now on the Yankees. Cable Smith and 1985 design Shohei Otani. That's a pretty cool card. You probably recall last year they did 1984 as their... Um, they're paying homage to that, the 35th year anniversary. And now, 35 years ago, 1985 tops were all the rage. You might remember buying 1985 tops. I personally don't. I didn't start collecting heavily till 1989. But I did have quite a few 1985 tops in 
my collection growing up. There's Michael Conforto. That picture was taken at PNC Park. That's pretty cool. Anthony Rizzo. Nick Pavetta. Then we have Derek Dietrich. By the way, we'll be doing a break tonight, probably actually later this afternoon. I'm going to get started early so I don't have to stay up till 2 a.m. But we'll be breaking some jumbo cases. Chris Paddock. And I have a grand total of five jumbo cases, which is 30 boxes worth, and I'm breaking them by the half box. So if you'd like to get in on that, I have those for sale on my Patreon page right now. And there's still a few more spots left near the end of that break. Roberto Perez had a great breakout year with the Indians last year. He hit 24 home runs, which um, is pretty good for a catcher. There's 1960s decade's best team, the 1960 Pittsburgh Pirates. They won the World Series. Had that famous walk-off home run against the Yankees at Forbes Field. Bill Mazeroski hitting it over the left field wall. Alex Bregman, who obviously uh, all of his stats and are kind of called into question now. And check out this one. Jordan Alvarez, a rookie card and a gold cup. You don't see that too often where they get a rookie and a gold cup on the same card. Jordan Alvarez, your American League Rookie of the Year. And uh, why do they only have the minor league stats on there? They don't have his major league stats. He tore it up in the big leagues um, last year. Just amazing season for him. There's Manny being Manny. Manny Machado. Zach Wheeler now of the Phillies. Ramon Marquez. Ramon Laureano had a great season last year. 1985 design. I love those 85 design cards. Jeff McNeil future star card. That's a nice one. And... J.T. Riddle, who now is on the Pirates, and the Pirates are probably going to use him as possibly part of a platoon to replace Starling Marte. Just another reason why the Pirates are going to be finishing in last place in the NL Central this year, in my opinion. All right, on to our next pack. we got Nolan Arenado, who has been the subject of some trade rumors over the offseason. Been hearing his name bandied about along with Mookie Betts. Of course, Mookie Betts was traded finally yesterday. All, there's Abraham Toro rookie card. Um, along with guys like Frankie Lindor have been hearing his name and Chris Bryant. There's like the big four that were on the trade market. There's Yachty Molina. Probably has a couple years left before he goes off and retires and then eventually gets in the Hall of Fame. And how about this one? We have an autograph. It's Gio Urshela from the New York Yankees, former Cleveland Indians, and it's a sticker auto there, but that's really cool and kind of interesting how you wrote his name there, just kind of like wrote it in capital letters. But he was a huge surprise for the Yankees this year and a big reason why the Yankees did not miss Miguel Andujar whatsoever. Um, kind of a breakout year for him. Check that one out. Nice geo card for JH. So there we go. We'll put that one right there. It's a nice hit. Always like to get an autograph if you can find one. Um, I think last year it seemed like most of the hobby boxes, I wouldn't say most, but um, I wouldn't say all, but a majority, more than, I don't know, 50, 60% definitely had relics in them. So hopefully this year we see a trend with Tops putting more autographs into their hobby boxes, which would be nice. Jesus Lusardo, rookie card, is a nice one. He battled injuries for much of last season. It'll be interesting to see what he can do when healthy for a full year. Liam Hendricks had a breakout season. I love looking at the back and seeing their most recent stats on there. Look at that earned run average, 180, 096 ERA. He took over the closest job from, from Blake Trinan. I love this card. How about that? Soaking it all in. Celebrate Glaber's walk-off. It almost looks like the sprinklers were turned on there. That's a, they did a nice job with that picture. Only getting the water and the uh, players in there, not all the other players throwing on them. That's a cool picture. There's the beast, Juan Soto. Of course, he's only just turned 21 years old, and look at those stats already. 34 home runs last year. He's always going to get compared to Ronald Acuna Jr. since they're in the same division and roughly the same age. Starling Marte, now of the um, Arizona Diamondbacks. We got breakout pitcher Shane Bieber, who was the All-Star Game MVP last year, and now he's part of the... Um, I don't know, he might be the ace of that rotation now for the Indians. And Austin Nola, Aaron Nola's little bro, his rookie card. Moving on to our next pack. Let's see what we can find. We got Ian Kinsler. That might be his final tops card as he is now retired. Oscar Mercado had a nice season last year for the Indians. Garrett Cooper, 
Brad Hand, closer for the Indians. Melky Cabrera, we'll see if he catches on anywhere. He's been around for a while, but I think he's still a free agent as of this moment. Shohei Otani should be back and playing both sides of the ball again, pitching and hitting, of course, last year. He was able to hit still a little bit, but couldn't pitch because of Tommy John. You can see he still got 384 at-bats last year and hit 18 home runs, which isn't bad. Anytime you have an over 500 slugging percentage, you're doing something right. Max Scherzer celebrating his World Series victory. Love these pictures here. This is um, this is a pretty nice release. Brock Holt in the rain. Nice picture there. Garrett Cole in his Yankees uniform. That's pretty nice. So, And it's also taking place at PNC Park. So there's Garrett Cole. I wonder if that picture was taken when he was a pirate or an Astro. Obviously, that picture has been airbrushed. Garrett Cole has not thrown a pitch for the Yankees yet, but it over tops are pretty good at um, touching up cards and putting them into the correct uniform. So that's a nice one right there. Makes me wonder if there's other, other free agents that are going to be in their new unis, like Garrett Cole is there. Let's see what else we have here in our next pack. Maybe Anthony Rendon will be in his Angels uniform. I don't know. I don't know if he's in Series 1 or Series 2. Hey, there's another good rookie. Aristides Aquino, who set a rookie record for home runs in a month when he just went off. Absolutely off in August of last year. Austin Riley, who had a great May, but then slowed down. Jose Urania. Uh, what else do we have here? Eric Fetty. Tyler O'Neill. Washington Nationals card there. Rogelio Armenteros. I don't know too much about him, so I'm just kind of getting familiarized with him. There's a nice Matt Olson scoring the winning run of a walk-off, looks like. And how about an 85 tops design? Mariano Rivera. That's a nice-looking card right there. Albert Al Alzole. I've seen his cards on a few occasions last year in 2019. There's Yuli Goriel celebrating a winning run, it looks like. For the Strohs. Hopefully it wasn't aided by any sign stealing in that case. There's Sonny Gray, who had a great season last year. And Fernando Tatis Jr., gold cup card. we got some nice young stars in the game today. Tim Anderson, got to say he's your batting champ. There's Tyler Glass now. He's an up-and-coming young star. I really hope that he can, um, I don't know, just take the league by storm. I love Tyler Glass now. Mike Soroka is another nice one right there. Had a great season last year. He gets the gold cup for starting pitcher. The Gold Cup, if you're not familiar with it, there's Christian Yelich. Goes to the rookie that had the best season in each position around the diamond. We have a rookie card here of Travis De Merite. I don't know. The Tigers lost 114 games, so I probably am not familiar with a lot of their roster at this point. I think the over-under for the Tigers in 2020 is 57 and a half wins. We'll have to see if um, they can beat that. Wonder who's going to be the worst team this year. Tigers, Orioles, Pirates, Marlins. They're all contenders for that. Here's one of the Orioles. Dwight Smith Jr., Matt Chapman taking a mighty hack right there. Tyler Flowers, Gary Sanchez, the Sanchino. And then we have Tommy Edmond, Josh Fegley. So we already got our autograph. Now we're just looking for rookies. Maybe, you know, it's a little tough for me right off the bat. Looking for photo variations and short prints. Karpkin Jr., that's a nice 85 tops card. Um, usually after looking at these cards so often and doing a, like a long case break, I will recognize a card that I've never seen before. But this is my first time seeing every picture. To look for short prints, of course, you have to look at that code on the bottom and see which one doesn't match up with the others. Like that ends in 69 and so does that one. So all the 6-9 cards will be your regular cards. Dario Agrizal, pitcher for the Pirates, their rookie card. Anthony Rendon is not in his Angels uni. He's in his Nationals one, so he must have just missed the cutoff there. Jack Flaherty, awesome season last year. Elo Jimenez, Gold Cup card. Look out for this guy. He had a really nice September. We'll have to see if he can carry that over into April this year. And Trevor Bauer anchoring that Reds rotation. Look out for the Reds, everybody. I'm really hoping for big things from them. 1991 design, Chris Bryant. That's a cool card. Topps Choice. So what Topps did it with this set is I believe they asked fans for their favorite Topps designs and inserted some cards in there. So this is, uh, I guess, 1991 was the was was that the winner for the 1990s? I'm not exactly sure. Uh, 1991 was a terrible year for cards in general, just with overproduction and kind of a weak rookie class, except for Bowman. 
Tops was saved by having Chipper Jones in there, but all the other ones, like 91 Fleer, 91 Donruss, 91 Upper Deck, 91 Score, not the greatest. We'll just leave it at that. Hey, Miguel Cabrera, future Hall of Famer, and signed for four more years through 2023, so got to think the Tigers are regretting that contract as Miguel Cabrera. As you'll look at those stats on the back, look at those home run numbers. 3 and 12. That's not what you're used to seeing from him. He's still going to end up hitting over 500 home runs in his career easily. It doesn't help that he plays at Comerica Park, which is just an absolutely monster of a park to hit it out of. There's Austin Meadows. Love him. Always root for Austin Meadows. 1950s, decades best. Ralph Kiner, who would regularly be atop the leaderboards for home runs. With the Pirates back then, there's Jesse Winker making a nice catch. And our first Pete Alonso card. He's got the Gold Cup card for hitting those 53 home runs in 2019 and besting Aaron Judge's record uh, from a few years prior by one dinger. So Pete Alonso also graces the cover of these packs. I hope that Pete Alonso follows it up with another 40-plus home run season, 40, 50 home runs. Would love to see that. Ronald Acuna Jr., one of the nice – Young stars in the game. He just missed out on the 40-40 club last year of stolen bases because he got hurt. So he only stole 37, as you can see there on the back. But if he didn't get hurt that last week, week and a half, I think he would have been a 40-40 man, which would have been nice. Probably would have bumped up his card values just a little bit more. Christian Yelich, Robbie Grossman. We've got an 85 blue border design coming up. There's Tommy Pham, now of the Padres. It's Reese Hoskins. So this should be numbered out of... Not numbered, kind of threw me off guard there, but still a blue border card. Nice, Whit Merrifield. He's one of the more outspoken guys against the Astros. He actually said that he should get the silver slugger that Jose Altuve got. And also, um, I think he mentioned that Altuve cost him a spot on the All-Star team. So definitely an outspoken guy. And I feel like a lot of players probably feel that way about the Astros um, and that whole scandal that has gone on and been talked about ad nauseum so we won't talk too much more about it there's a role chapman one of the top 10 closers in the game still jeff samarja then we have chicago cubs team card tim and yolmer steven strasburg world series card rookie card of brian abreu probably no relation to bobby abreu bobby abreu just received enough votes by the way on the hall of fame ballot to return next year i think he had about you need 5% to stay on, and I want to say that Abreu had like 5.5 or 6%, somewhere around there. So Bobby Abreu is, um, I don't know, when I think about Abreu, I think about his ridiculous home run derby display at Comerica Park years ago. There's Kent Maeda. He just got traded yesterday, part of that Mookie Betts three-team trade, Mike Yastrzemski. Maeda, of course, went to the Twins, so he'll be part of their rotation now as the Twins try to capture the america league central once more john lester then we have a rainbow card our first rainbow card of 2020 tops it's anthony rizzo these are never numbered uh michael baez and roberto osuna is the last one there so we have about nine packs left out of the 24 in the box i hope you're enjoying the 2020 preview video here again we'll be doing a bunch more 2020 tops tonight, starting this afternoon. There's Kenley Jansen and Gavin Lux, one of the other good rookies I mentioned at the top of the video. A lot of teams want Gavin Lux from the Dodgers, but the Dodgers don't want to give him up because he's going to be a beast. Check out those stats. 347 batting average with 26 home runs last year across the minor leagues. So look out for Gavin Lux. Could be a superstar. You definitely want to grab his rookie card if you can. Um... This is a nice release. 2020 Tops has some very nice rookies in it, and Gavin Lux might end up being among the best. Jordan Alvarez, of course, also a beast. I'm wondering if there's going to be kind of a run on these cards when they first come out. I noticed I was looking for cases um, yesterday on Steel City and Blowout, and they were all sold out. So... That tells you there is some demand for this product. Jacob deGrom... David Bodie, and then Chris Archer, Paul Goldschmidt, J.P. Crawford making off balance throw there. Another Anthony Rendon, league leaders card. He had a great season last year. Jorge Soler, your American League home run champion. Decades best, Karpka Jr. 
and Michael Chavis as I have a little tickle in my throat. Hopefully, hopefully I don't start coughing. Got to finish this video strong and also have to do that silver pack. I have to remember not to forget about that. Sometimes I'll put that extra pack aside and totally forget. Bryce Harper with a weird headband on. Almost looks cartoonish. That's our first Bryce Harper card that we've seen. Stalling Castro. Wade Davis, look away if you hate ugly earned run averages. Last year he had an 865 earned run average. Poor Wade Davis. Hopefully he can get it back on track. Seems like... Um, if you want to have a bad year and you're a pitcher, just go sign in Colorado. Christian Yelich, 85 tops. Nick Markakis, who's still trucking along. All right, we've got six packs left and that silver pack. In the Jumbos, you get two silver packs. Hunter Renfro is on the top of this one. He's now on the Tampa Bay Rays, traded for Tommy Pham. Raphael Devers had a great season last year. Lourdes Goriel. Charlie Culberson, who else do we have in here? Max Kepler, Steve Carlton, 1970s decades best card is pretty nice. Josh Rojas, rookie card, and Tommy LaStella having a great season before that injury last year cut his season short. Had career highs and home runs. And was probably on his way to uh, no hitting how many home runs. All right, here's our fourth pack. AJ Puck is on the front. Frankie Lindor, one of the big superstars. And now we have Lewis Brinson, one of the great busts of uh, almost all time, at least right now. Three years, and he's failed to hit even 200 yet. His career high is 199. Check it out on the back there. Just look at the Major League stats. Batting average right there, 173, 199. And with the Brewers, 106. Career average, 183. And what makes it worse? He was traded for Christian Yelich. So that's got to hurt if you're a Marlins fan. Sorry for bringing that up. I know that your patience is probably wearing thin with Brinson. There's Yachty Molina, 85 tops design. Hopefully Brinson could turn it around and get it going because he wasn't terrible in the minor leagues. He was pretty good. He was a top prospect there for um, his progression through the system, the Brewers system. David Price now of the Dodgers. He was part of the Mookie Betts trade. Of course, the Boston Red Sox had to eat a lot of that money, about half of his contract. There's Bo Bichette and Kevin Biggio. That's a nice card, those two guys. Fathers were big leaguers. Pete Alonso, home run challenge card. So Jay can scratch that code and pick a day when Alonso's going to hit a home run. And if he does, he's going to win a nice prize there. I think he wins a nice card or a little set there. I can't remember exactly what it is. I've never actually participated in that, but other people have. And you got a good shot with Pete Alonso. Seems like he hits a home run every other day almost. All right, we've got two packs left after this and then the silver pack. Then we'll get on out of here and I will prepare for our jumbo break. There's still some spots for sale on Patreon in the later rounds of the break. There's Ichiro Suzuki tops um, heritage card from, I forget what year that was, but it's numbered out of 299 on the back. Sean Murphy and the last one is Jock Peterson, another guy on the move. He just got traded to the Los Angeles Angels as there's not really much room for him in that outfield anymore with Mickey Betts being acquired. Two packs left to go. Cody Bellinger, an MVP. Uh, teaming up with Mookie Betts. Two MVPs atop the lineup there. It's going to be pretty nice. There's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Gold Cup card. I'm thinking he's going to hit 35 plus home runs this year. Supposedly he's in great shape. Yamankata, I think he's going to have another big season. And Mike Trout, card number one of the set. Mike Trout, of course, last year, card number one went to Ronald Acuna Jr. Mike Trout is back at the top of the list. The best player in baseball, Mike Trout, and possibly the best player of this generation. In fact, most people think that. A lot of you younger kids, Mike Trout might be the best player you ever see play. All right, here's our final pack, and then we have our silver pack coming up in just a moment. John Gray is there. And we're going to finish this off. Kyle Lewis, that's a nice rookie card right there. Bubba Starling. It's taken him a while to get to the big leagues. He was, um, I feel like he was drafted a long time ago. Uh, just looking at the back real quick. 2011, he was a top pick. Mitch Hanniger, Juan Soto World Series card. Tim Anderson, league leaders. Tommy Pham, that's a rainbow card. And Mike Moustakis now of the Cincinnati Reds. As he signed a four-year, $64 million deal to shore up the Reds offense. All right, so let's see what we can add to this um, haul from this box. These cards are pretty nice. They're all going to be 1985 design. They're all going to have nice um, 
refractor finishes or chrome finishes and there's a good chance to get autographs out of these by good i mean probably about one in every 20 of these have an autograph from my past experiences so we start off with nolan ryan shay otani and we got a robel garcia rookie card in 1985 and ronald acuna jr green and that should be numbered it is out of 99 for j of Jay's openings. Check out Jay's channel on YouTube, and we end with this little home run challenge um, insert here. And also, don't forget the Topps exclusive Silver Pack promotion. I guess is coming up. So if you'd like to participate in that, still got a lot of time. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. Again, let me know what you think in the comments about this release. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can come back for more. We do these types of videos quite often. And uh, baseball is my favorite sport, so pretty much all my videos are baseball themed. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up button. And I hope to see you very soon in the live stream tonight when we're opening up those jumbo cases with three hits per box, two silver packs per box, 2020 Tops Series 1 Jumbo Break tonight. So thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you have a great evening, and I will see you all later.